Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia, back with another tutorial video. We're going to, this time, uh, cut and prep tint for a frameless door window. We've got a 2012 uh, Camaro here. Um, this is gonna get you through most of the common cars, your Camaros, your Mustangs, uh, your Challengers. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna, these have trick windows. Most of the newer cars do. They trick down when you open the, or they, they roll down when you open the door for clearance. And when you close the door, they roll back up. Obviously we need the windows to be up for this process. So I'll show you how to trick the door. We're gonna clean and prep the glass, lay the film out, um, and I'll show you how to do it. So simple tools, I'm gonna use my keg sprayer this time instead of a bottle sprayer. I've just got my Ova blade with a fresh tip. You got a handle squeegee and a couple rags. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we've gotta do is we've gotta trick the door to make the car think that the door's closed so the window stays up for us to do our job. So on this particular model, along with Ford Mustangs and Challengers, you actually just flip the latch, super easy. Now on Nissans and some Infinities, the two doors, uh, frameless, uh, it's usually a screw where a button is uh, on the actual door frame itself, the door jam. You take that screw out and unground it and that moves the windows up. But on this particular model, it's the door hinge itself. Uh, the latch. So you can use a bone tool. Um, these are really easy. I just take my thumb and I push in on it and it rolls down the top portion. And when it clicks and then you push it one more time, it rolls the window up. So super easy. Note, do not forget the windows are up after you tin it. Make sure you heat dry the bottom and click your handles before you close the doors or it's going to be very expensive. So the first thing we need to do Soap and water on the outside, wipe down any grime. Clean these top edges off really well as you do a full peel, not a half uh, or a two stage when you install this type of film. So you want the glass pretty much as clean as you can get it without going overboard. But anyway, it looks good. We're gonna wet the outside. I've already cut a 44 inch length of film that's going to cover from front to back off a 40 inch roll and then I split that in half so I have a piece for this side and a piece for the driver's side. Now we're only doing a single cut on this side. We're not double cutting. I don't like to double cut frame doors. It's a little bit heavy on the film. It can kind of get a little janky. Uh, and I've actually seen where some of the uh, windows didn't line up all that well by doing a double cut. So. I want full control of the knife, full control of the tin, full control of the blade. Um, so I'm gonna do a single cut on one side. Obviously it's gonna be the same for the other side. So I'm gonna grab my film. Got my roll of film. I'm just gonna re-wet the glass. Obviously I, I cut it 44 inches. Make sure you're covering in the front and fully covering in the back. So now if anybody's looking at me and saying, he's rolling the film out the wrong way, I back rolled this. Uh, off my peel board so I could roll it out just like this. So it is filmed down, liner to me, always. Just your film. Make sure you've got the full coverage in the front, full coverage in the back. Good there, plenty in the back. Now on this particular car, I'm going to cut the bottom seal, um, or cut the bottom edge. Um, you could probably get away with using the factory edge. I just always have a habit of just making a fresh edge on the bottom so it matches. The seal on the inside is very high up, so I don't have to worry about pulling the film down or anything. But we're going to cut our bottom edge, we'll cut our front edge, and we'll do something with all this extra to make it a little bit more manageable for us. So the first thing we want to do is we want to lock our film into place so it doesn't slide around on us. I'm going to do that. Next thing I'm going to do is when you have film like this and it wants to hang over because there's just too much, trim it off. Leave you an inch and a half or so off the top. Same on the back. Watch the paint. All right, film's still locked in place. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my, my bottom edge line. Fresh blade, little bit of blade out. And I probably just covered that up. All right, so bottom edge is cut. Next thing we need to do is we're gonna cut our front edge. Same thing, little bit of blade, little bit of blade. 
Take our front edge all the way to the top. Now we're gonna unlock the film. Be wet where it was squeegeeing. We wanna pull over that front seal. Oh, about an eighth of an inch, something like that. Remember where the film's gonna move just a tiny bit forward when you install it to expose the back edge. So an eighth of an inch. Always check your inside seal to see how close it is to the outside. Sometimes they're a little further off. You need to go a little further with the film. In this case, these are dead even. So a little bit around an eighth of an inch is just fine. Check your bottom edge again. Make sure you're lined up, looking good. Now we're gonna cut our top and our back. Now, in this case, you wanna roll any, any fingers you might have to the bottom. So we're gonna squeegee across the top, down the back. Keep that edge flat. The first cut I'm gonna make is up the back. I'm gonna go to the very bottom, keep your blades straight and steady. Puncture through, ride the glass all the way to the top. The next cut I'm making is I'm gonna start from the front and I'm gonna to come to the back so that I can try to get a little bit of a roundness on this back corner here. But keep in mind, when you make this cut, don't let the film flop over. Keep your blade nice and steady, nice clean cut, micro edge. And we're gonna come right off the side. So we're basically cut. We're gonna to move to the peel board and I'll show you how to finish up the edges. Rounding our corners off, just like we do any other window. Perfect. So now that we've got all our corners rounded, we're happy with all our edges. Um, there's nothing that we can see that's gonna cause a problem. We're gonna take the film and we're gonna check for shrinkage and shrink it out and get it ready for install. All right, we're gonna put our film back on the glass and check for shrink. Some of these you don't have to shrink. Um, sometimes I will just to uh, really ensure a really good tight bottom seal. So we want it in just a hair on the back, overlap the top and overlap the front. So lay your film on, leave you about a half inch or so on the bottom. And then we're going to start about a little less, a little less in the middle, roll everything down to the bottom. Come back across here and down the back, lock down your back. So I've got some fingers on the bottom, so I'm gonna grab the heat gun and we're gonna heat those out. Got my heat gun, we're gonna turn it on high. We're gonna shrink all these out, make a nice bottom seal. So when I'm heating a finger, this will be another video, but um, when I'm heating a finger, I usually like to blow hot air up the bottom of it and then shrink it out. Be careful not to burn the car or the tint. Use gradual heat, take it slow. They usually come out pretty easy. All the fingers are pretty much out now, but I still like to run a little bit of hot air along the bottom because if there is an extra finger just lingering, it'll creep its, it'll creep its ugly head with the hot air. That looks really good. So guys, that's it for this one. Um, that's all the steps you need to know uh, to hopefully be very successful in uh, getting through cutting out a brainless window. The biggest thing to remember is trick your doors up uh, and then lining up your film. I cut the bottom edge, check it either way. Um, but anyways, cut your bottom edge, cut your front edge, uh, shift your film forward a little bit, cut your back, cut your top. Uh, heat mold it to the glass. This film's ready to install. This is Tint Depot Superior Charcoal. You probably hear it a lot in my videos. It's my go-to. Uh, the other I like is their Ceramic Extreme. Very aggressive, very nice looking films. Shrink fantastic and they install great. So um, thanks for watching. TintDepot.com, all the tools and tint you'll need. Uh, be watching for our uh, install video on how to install the film on a frameless uh, door. 
We also have a video if you're not familiar with how to cut out framed doors and install, we have those as well. Be sure to check them out. So we'll see you on the next one.